Big small mouth. Oh, big small mouth. Come here. There's two of them on it. Oh, there's two of them. <laughs> Do they like jerk baits? That's a nice bass. That's a really nice bass. Another big one. That's another dandy. That's another dandy. Look at that fish. Never in my life, never in my life have I caught smallmouth like I have today. Only gonna get a chance to fish one time this week. We're gonna be targeting smallmouth bass here in Illinois. It's my first trip to the creek, so the first thing we're gonna wanna do is try to search and find them and see where they're at. Here's what we're gonna do that with. This right here is a live target poppin' frog rigged to 10 pound fluorocarbon. We're gonna be around some, some sticks and some stumps and things like that, so I upsize my line a little bit. This is a browning medallion. This is one of my favorite rods. It's a 6.6 six medium heavy with a fast action. It's not an extra fast, it's a fast. And then this is an Abu Garcia Aura. Off the back of this bait though, we have a little dropper line. It's 10 pound fluorocarbon as well down to a little, it's almost like a mosquito hook. It's a little drop shot hook or a wacky hook. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a four inch Strike King Ocho off the back of this bait. I want something that's gonna attract these fish, which is the point of the popping frog, but I also want something that's gonna sit a little bit below the surface if they're not willing to hit a top water. We're gonna start with this, we're gonna move around, we're gonna see how many fish we can attract, and if we get into a spot where we can tell that they're at, we're gonna keep moving ahead, and then on our way back, we're gonna hit it with another presentation. Here's the three other options I'm taking with. This is like smallmouth candy. Little jerk bait, husky jerk, I believe size eight, suspending. We've got a Strike King Ned Ocho on a 16th ounce jig. Jig worm, I'm a big jig worm guy if I can get away with it. And then it gets it tube with a jig inside of that. This is in uh, baby poop brown, the guys on the forum call it. Let's get to it. The old lightweight yak. Gotta get under the bridge. This is always the worst part. Oh, good lord. Wow. Well, now what? That changes my approach. We gotta figure something out because I completely lost my entry point from last year. That's not good. Okay, this will work. It's not that I mind going through spots like this. It's that I'm extremely allergic to poison ivy. And there's definitely some in there. I just saw it. So hopefully I can get up here and get in the creek. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I got goosebumps. <laughs> oh, it's been a while. Now the water down here, the water seems more reasonable today than it was the other day. And it also seems muddy, but that's because we're close to the river, we're, where the creek enters the river. We're real close, like within a mile in the opposite direction. And it seems like there's backwash that gets in here from the river that muddies it up. But the further up this creek we go, the clearer it's gonna get. Ooh, we got a downed tree up there. That wasn't there last year. It's incredible how much things change. I can't get in and out in the same spot as I did last year. And we've only gone half a mile and we already got a new tree. So we'll go up about to that, start to work around with the popper. On near the back side of that tree. It's not going to be really deep here. The tree looks really good, but it's in about a foot of water. Here's our little feeder creek, though, off to the left. All right. Got a smallmouth following it. Pick 
picked it up. Yep. Which did you get? I don't know if he got the... No, he got the stick bait. That's a good one. That's a good one. Nice smallie. Nice smallie. That is what I'm talking about. First smallie of the year, right on that back hook. Right on that back hook, right in the corner of the mouth. Beautiful, buddy. Let's go again. Awesome. It hasn't been five casts. That's a good sign. We'll work over here a little bit more and reset our bait. Again, that's on a four inch Ocho, green pumpkin. Just natural color on this little hook. You know, the popper is there more for attraction. If we can get a strike with it, that's fantastic. But if we can let them know there's something in the area, then that's perfectly fine also. It's going to be more key when we get into some of these deeper, deeper pockets. You know, fishing in two feet of water on the backside of a tree, not as important. Fishing this thing around a deep hole. I'm thinking we're going to be able to call some up. Even if they don't come all the way to the surface, they're going to come check it out and pick up that stick bait. The tree looks so good, but there doesn't seem to be much activity here. This log over here on our left used to be in the middle last year. And it held fish. No follows. Let's cast over here once and then... Sometimes they'll hang out under those trees and strike stuff as soon as it hits the water. Littler guy. Oh, that's a large mouth. Oh, that's kind of loud. See, you, buddy. Be good. Let's go ahead and move up the creek a little bit. This little inlet over here looks really good. Right in here. Yep. Good one. Don't, don't drag me right in there, buddy. I want to land them, but I don't want to scare all my fish. I don't have a super hard hook on him. That's graceful. That's graceful. Come here, buddy. Come here. Let's get you landed. Oh, you are a stud. Look at that stud of a creek, Smalley. Yes. Look at that. Look at that stud. That is a beauty. Whew. I love them, man. That is a beauty. <laughs> Let's get him back right away. Right where he was supposed to be. All right, 35 minutes in. I got a feeling there's more over here. Let's go right back in there. Get another cast on the backside here. It's a very loud entry. Ooh, that's an even better one. And there's somebody with him. That's a strong fish. That's a strong fish. I don't want to lose him. I don't want to get up in this spot, though. Let's 
Small jaw. Small jaw. Ooh, another good one. Another good one. Barely got him. Beauty. 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 See you, partner. Be free. Yeah. Now again, we're still in search mode for these fish. We're gonna switch to a jerk bait in a little bit. And then we're gonna jig fish in the best spots on the way back down. Let's try over there again. Oh, just just like that. Oh, lost him. Lost one. I think there's there's definitely a hole there. He might be a little gun shy now because he's had that bait pulled out of his mouth once or twice. Keep a little bit of pressure on that line. You can feel it jump when they smack it. A lot of times smallmouth will hit as soon as your plastic or your lure hits the water, they'll just react to it. And so the nice thing about having the popper on there is that you can make that little attractive noise again and again and again. Yeah, ooh, ooh, that's a better fish. Don't jump. This one can pull me in if he wants, because that's the best fish in that hole, I bet. He's pulling me all over the creek. Oof. Oh, that's a good small mouth. Small mouth, come here. That's probably the biggest fish I've ever hooked in here. I know, you don't want to come up yet. I know, I know. Just let me touch you. Come here, small jaw. Come here, small jaw. Right. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Come here. They're so strong. And that's what'll do it. That's what we're looking for. Look at that bad boy. That's a two pounder. That is a beauty of a fish. Let's get a picture with him. He was right on the backside of that stone structure over there where there was a little eddy. There's a little eddy and there's a cutout, a little cutout hole underwater there. What a beaut. Let's try for one or two more in this spot. Okay. We lost our plastic finally. We got somebody else on a kayak headed up this way. So we're gonna fish. Three more casts or so, and then we're gonna move way up. That's another good one. That's another dandy of a fish. Oh, 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 oh. Shoot. Lost one. I'm so worried about these guys over here. And we hooked our pants. I'll tell you right now. Is there a fish on there? Little guy, I think. No, oh, not too bad. You were real docile. Yeah, now you're awake. Now you're awake. Now you're awake. <laughs> now you're awake. Now you're awake. You're good. See ya. We're about to have the, the advantages of little kayaks on full display because if these people are in a boat, they get so shallow on the way here, they're not going to be able to get through that, although it looks like they're trying to find a way. But we're going to go further upstream and lift our boat up and Get out of dodge here. They're trying to come up here. We're gonna move on ahead and go ahead and switch to a jerk. Let's scoot. Now we're in it. Okay.
Okay. Let's do a let's do a quick retie and then keep heading out. Probably can't see it, but there's a female deer right there in the middle of the creek, just staring at me while I tie on a husky jerk. <laughs> oh, there's another one. How y'all doing? That's what it's all about, man. Just out here in it. Let's keep moving up. I'm gonna have to walk quite a bit of this. I can pull it along the edge here, that'll make life a little easier. It's so beautiful in here, but it's work. It's a good kind of work though. Water clarity has increased big time. We've gone quite a ways. Way over there you can see where we were at. And last year when we were in here there was a tree that I had to crawl over. It got completely washed out. It's not even there anymore. Water's moving pretty good. And it's cold. It's still cold. Yep, 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 first cast. What are you? Oops, Molly came right off. Okay, shoot. Yep, that's a Smalley, yep. Play you a little easier than your buddy. <laughs> There's one on the husky. We'll get him right back. That's all we're using right there is a number eight perch pattern. There's a big branch right there hanging down. Like I said before, they can set up right underneath those and hit as soon as something hits the water. It's almost like they get conditioned to grabbing bugs and stuff that falls off the branches. Better one, better one. That's a better one. That's a real good one. Question is how much of that did he eat? I think he's got two troubles in him, I think. Oh boy. That's a trophy smallmouth anywhere. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That is a fat smallmouth for in here. Let's get those hooks out, dude. He's got another hook in his throat that we're going to pull out. We're going to make this fish even healthier. To it. Ugh, look at that old eagle claw. Nice. I bet you feel better. You might not realize it yet, but you will. Look at that. Look at that. Small mouth. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. And we got the bigger one's attention with the jerk bait. That's two and a half pounds. That's two and a half pounds. Easy, man. That's a that's a good fish. We got pushed all the way back over to the riffles essentially. Absolutely gorgeous. Heck yeah. Let's keep going. If that ain't living, I don't know what is. And we got a hook out of him. He broke somebody's heart. He broke somebody's heart. I can relate to that. Okay, we're up on the back side of these next set of riffles. You know, there's literally a platform right there where I could stand and cast. It's not really a platform, it's rocks. Let's do that real quick. 
<clears throat> All the way across there. Yep, hit it right on the drop, man. And that's a good one, too. <laughs> oh. Oh, shoot. You little stinker. That was, that was what I was talking about, where as soon as that puppy hit the water, man, he was on it. That was another one. What am I doing? I just missed two. That's a far cast. If somebody decides to eat, if I'm lucky, I'll see a flash. Stay hooked up. You guys are killing me. <laughs> Come here. Beauty. Grow big. Finally got one. I missed two. What the heck? That first one I missed was big. All right, we're a little bit closer to the riffles now. We were right over there just a second ago. We're going to work this rock wall right here close. Yep, first cast, man. Come here. Those trebles are no joke. It's important that you have the tools to fix these guys quick so that they don't get hurt. Good jerk bait, Smalley. Wrong way, dude. Wrong way. Wrong way. There, there, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Last year I had a trip where I left my hemostats on the side of the shore and I was really upset. I got these little short ones, but they're not as good. Those got to be on hand for quick access. Let's see if he's got a buddy. I got a follower. Somebody's cautiously following. Oh, that fish just bit it and spit it out. Oh my gosh, how's he spitting those trebles out? He's all worked up. <laughs> He's all worked up. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I don't know how you spit those trebles out. Ow, man, you were ticked off. Come up and smoked it and spit those trebles out. I, I saw him take the bait and spit it out like several times wow the cool thing about fishing the moving water like this is that these fish come and go they come in they come out so i can see they'll move down this pool to my right a big old caterpillar i guarantee they're eating those and they'll come back up here to my left and they'll circle around they'll get in the little eddies that are formed like right over here we got a little eddy couple more casts here and then we'll move up all right, we've come up a little bit further, and even though we're in direct sunlight, we're gonna make some casts here. Off to my right, there's a big chunk of rock, big chunk of flat rock, and sometimes they'll sit right behind those, almost like they're sunning themselves, and they'll watch, and as crankbaits skitter across that, sometimes they'll come out from the, from the, right from the shoreline there in the shadows and just, just smack a bait. Got him right on a drop there. Let's get him out so that we don't scare the other ones away. That's a good little fish. That's a good little fish. Calm down, calm down. Relax. Don't be sticking me and I'll put you right back. Pretty little for as big as that jerk bait is. That guy had a good attitude. But again, dude hit that as soon as it hit the water. He smacked it. I could have thrown a stick with hooks on it into that spot that fish was just waiting to maul something try over here a little bit little guy came up to came up to get it next cast what were you thinking 
You silly goose. He saw it and said, mine. That guy did too. Next cast, next cast. He's bigger than I thought. I thought you were just a, just a little guy, man. That's about average size for in this creek, based on, based on my experience so far. See you, partner. Yep. Got another one chasing him too. What's up, partner? Let me see if I can get your buddy real quick. Thank you for playing. Almost looked like a large mouth. I didn't get a good look at it. I think it was a small mouth. All right, let's try to get way further up past where this, this property is. Now we gotta hoof it. Again, this is where a really light kayak comes into play. carry it through all this stuff. That's the price for smallmouth. We made it up to another big pool here. So it turns into riffles right there. So we're gonna fish the backside here under this big tree. Try to get in some shade too. Right, it's a deer right there, taking off. Ooh. Big smallmouth looking at it. Big smallmouth, big smallmouth. Oh, big small mouth. Come here. Oh my gosh, that was fantastic. That is a chunk and a half. He doesn't even know he's hooked yet. That is a stud. Oh my gosh. He's freaking, he's freaking. Come here, come here, let me, just let me get my finger in there with that jerk bait. Oh, he's right between my legs, oh my gosh. That is, anybody looking at that <laughs> from the shore is not impressed with my fishing ability. Come here, come here. Holy cow, that is gigantic. That is three and a half pounds easy. Jerk bait hanging out of his mouth. Holy mackerel. Man, it does not get better than that. And I got to play him the whole time. He was following it, following it, following it before he decided to commit. Oh my gosh. That is, I guarantee that's three and a half pushing four pounds. I gotta get that other hook out of there before we. There. Here, we'll go against the against the rod here. From the bottom of that rod, right to the top of medallion. If we were to pinch the tail, just an absolute unit on the jerk bait. Let's get you back, pretty girl. Look at her go. Wow. See you later. Well, I don't know if I've mentioned in the last five minutes how much I love jerkbait fishing now. Now that I've dedicated some time to it, 
But man, oh man, I love jerk bait fishing. That was such a cool fish, such a cool bite. Able to twitch it, twitch it, twitch it. Get that fish aggravated enough to come up and eat it. Almost lost her when she went between my legs. What a fish, man. Let's see if we can get one or two more. Oh my gosh, next cast. Next cast. Come here, buddy. I just caught your, caught your big mama a second ago. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Looking for just some dark spots along the bottom where the bigger ones could be hiding. See if we call them out. Ooh, two of them fighting over it. Somebody's gonna eat it. Somebody's gonna eat it. Somebody's gonna eat it. <laughs> there's two of them on it. Oh, there's two of them. We got doubled up. Look at that. Look at that. That's you aggressive little stinkers. Look at them. Look at them. Look at them. Look at them. Look at that. <laughs> so. Do they like jerk baits? The answer is yes. Ooh, my hook got bent out too. One of you is gonna hurt me. I can feel it. You're about the, the best hooked. Here's number one. And here's his buddy. Come here, dude. <laughs> the two for one. See ya, partner. I'm that guy right there. Just a little number eight husky jerk. They were right on the back of that big rock over here, which makes sense because it makes a little eddy for them. Well, I think that is the one to end on. You can't ask for a cooler ending. Giganto and then two fish on the same jerk bait, and one more for good measure. One more for good measure. That's another nice one. We have been stacking them all day thank you god thank you god see you buddy well guys thanks for hanging out that'll do it for this morning caught a lot of quality fish this morning i'm going to switch to a jig worm and a tube and i'm going to fish my way back and we're going to put that in a follow-up video because we caught too many good fish this morning to put all of this in one video or cut a bunch of them out thanks for hanging out we'll see you in the next one